To install gender automation, we go to cognillo.com forward slash gender hyphen automation. The link is also below in the description. Here we can choose between the download community or download enterprise. We'll go with the free version this time. Feel free to pick the enterprise if you want that. So I click here and then I fill in the information about myself. You should do the same. Once we've done that, we come to this screen. And then my download will start automatically. We'll wait 30 seconds, so I'll fast forward the video here. That's it. Here I can open my downloads folder in the file explorer or simply just go up here and open the folder. I choose to open the folder because I want to extract it first. So I go to this downloaded zip file, then I right click and here I'll choose extract all and pick extract. That will create a folder with our gender automation installation files. Again, I'll fast forward. That's it. I go to the folder. And here I have the desktop and the worker. We'll first install the desktop by double clicking it. That will open up the installation. Then we'll start extracting and the desktop will start the installation. The desktop is where we build our flows, where we edit them and create new ones. And then the worker is where the desktop workflows are executed. And here I can click finish. Let's also install the worker. The worker is where our automation is executed. Let's click agree and install. We can choose to have it on our own computer like we do here. That has the benefit that we can see everything's going on, but it's also locking the computer while Genta works. So you might want to do it on a separate computer, for example, a virtual machine. Now we have installed both. I can click finish here. And if I minimize all this, you will see that you have a Genta desktop and a Genta worker shortcut on your desktop. Here I can double click to open up the desktop. That will start the desktop. And you will see this little prompt down here. It's trying to connect and it cannot. Nothing is wrong. We'll just need to open up the worker as well. So we do that, double click that, and that will connect. You need to allow access, so we do that. And we now have a workflow available. And yes, this is the prompt. We can just prompt this gender automation and it will create an automation for us. But let me try to show you the advanced mode first and I'll show you the simple one afterwards. So here I click advanced mode and this is the Genta desktop. From here we can do a lot of things. We can create a new workflow. So if I go up here, new workflow, and here we will say our first Genta workflow and then I'll click create. This is so cool and let me just maximize this. This is where we build. We drag things in here or even better, we prompt things in here. If we want to prompt, we do it up here in this prompt menu or from the symbol view right before we can go back and click chat UI that will take us to the symbol input. But I'll go to advanced mode because I also have commands. Let's say that I want to open up an application. I can click up here and I can either double click or drag this open a website into my canvas that will open up a website to this address. And then I can simply just change this address myself. But I can also close things, I can click things by using these commands. But we are not, we did not came here to use these commands. We want to see how Genta uses ChatGPT to build our automation workflows. So for example, let's say I want to open up a website. I go up to this prompt or take the symbol run from before. And here I can say go to Google and search for Anna's Jensen org. Then I can either click enter or click this create over here to the right. That's it. Genta created the script for us. It did it behind the scenes with the help of ChatGPT in the engine. You don't have to understand the script, but let me take you through it. Here we assign a variable called website and we gave it the value www.google.com or actually our words did. 
Then we navigate to that website. We type in Anasiensen Org, which is the name of my company, and then we press enter. Now the exciting part, let's go check it. Then we can click start down here in the right corner. And here you'll see that we ran into a complication that we often do as automation developers. We didn't account for this cookie pop up. We didn't mention that, but now we saw it, we can handle it with our words. So what do we do with this? If this pop ups shows up to me, I want to click Alvis added that is reject all cookies. I like that. So I'll just tell gender to click Alvis added if that is present because it might not be present all the time. Let me close down the browser again. And here I will delete the script and then I will create an improved script. So I go up here, open a browser, maximize the browser so we can see it a little better. Then I'll say click Alvis L if prompted that is reject all in then we say then go to Google that is reject all in Danish. So here I will create the script, click create again or enter. And then Genza will again work behind the scenes to create this for us. Again, we have only used natural English works like you and I would talk. And this is probably the most impressive tool I've seen in the RPA space for the last couple of years. Um, it's the first generative AI RPA tool or automation tool. It will have a lot of nice things such as computer vision. Now you can see that we had a little maximize parameter to our navigate to and we also have this if text is exists, click always L. Let's go try it by clicking start. It maximizes it. Now we really hope that it will click always L also. It might take a few seconds to detect it, but there, there you go. And we search for Anna Jensen org. That's it. We build our first automation just using words. Let me show you what other nice things we can do. Because we also can do more advanced prompts. So let us delete all this and let us delete the prompt. So for example, I can say create an Excel with three columns. And I think you should do this with me. You will learn so much about gender automation. Then you'll say last name and persona. Add 10 rows with random but creative superhero names and create a unique 50 word persona description for each hero. Then after completed, send the results back to me. So here I want to create some test automation data. And it is quite nice that we can also do that. And we can also easily automate Excel. Then Genta created this one for us. Let us just scroll up to see what it did. Here we are creating a an Excel sheet called heroes.xlsx. It adds three columns to that Excel instance. And here we add 10 rows. It stores the result and it sends the result so we can open it. Let's go try that. So we run it here and we are executing it. It executed really fast, less than a second. And I can click open results here. That will open up an, a hero.xlsx with the information in. Really nice. Let's go expand this one with some web automation. So I go back here. Then I want to go to the RPA challenge. RPA challenge is a known site for RPA developers where we can input things in. We will input these, but usually you want to input a uh, company data. That's the test. But let's go expand on this solution. So here I'll say, then go to RPA challenge.com. Here I don't say anything about a browser. And then I'll say and for each Excel row, enter first name, last name, and 
persona as role in company. That's fields that's present on this side. I just describe them with their names. I'll show you in a few seconds, then click submit. And here I'll need to delete this and then I will add to my script. I could also uh, have deleted the first prompt and then just added this, but it's easier just to delete the entire script and do it all over and Genta will create a stable automation for us. Here we go. And here you can see that um, we added this first name, last name, rolling company, and we click submit. Let's go try start it to see that it actually works. So it navigates to API challenge. And here we want to fill in first name, last name, and rolling company. And then we want to click submit. Here we go. Bruce, Wayne, uh, that's it. And then we have the clock and we see that this works. We also just need the last name and the rolling company. We will cancel the flow here. And yes, it will. It gave us an error because we cancel it. So let me show you some other nice things. And the first one is that you can click chat UI here. And this is the simple view. Let me just get it up here and expand it a bit. Again, here we can ask it to perform tasks, but here we don't need to see the code. That is great for business users. I could, for example, say go to amazon.com. And of course, I could do more advanced things. And here I just click start. Genta will generate the script for me. And then it will start. So here you could, for example, things about uh, think about things where we want to again read a database, maybe even an Excel sheet, and then we want to fill things in. Now we successfully completed. The last thing I want to show you is that we also have great logs. So if I go to advanced mode, I click logs down here. Let me just expand it a bit and drag these ones in. Try to click trace locks here. And here you can see all the things that we worked on. If I, for example, uh, uses this, here you can see how Genta works. It uses computer vision machine learning to classify uh, these all these UI elements on the screen. And here you can see that here we have the Alvis L, which we clicked earlier. If you want more Genta, then you should go here to get an even more advanced guide.